first you want to cut off all the rotten pieces or the pieces that don't look edible. In Korean we call it tadumo. Oh, it's too thick, the branch part, so she's gonna just cut off the uh, leaves on the top because the branch is too hard and it's hard to eat that part. So we're just going to finish up the rest of the sukkat or I believe it's crown daisies and just cut off all the small branches and throw away the stems. There's a flower! Now before you went and handled the crown daisies, you should have a boiling water ready for you. So you can just put it right in when it's boiling. Now you can eat these raw as it is um, with like meat and like sangchu and stuff and put it together and eat it just raw or you can boil it slightly like what we're going to do right now. Now it's time to boil slightly the crown daisies or sukkat After about a minute, one minute, we're rinsing it out because we're only slightly cooking it. We don't want to overcook it and make them like not like all slushy and gooey and not edible so we just want to slightly cook it and then rinse it in cold water And then she's going to put it in a, dry, a draining bowl and she's just going to drain out all the water. And then she's going to put it back into the pan and thoroughly washing it. rinsed it out about three or four times for it to get clean and then now she's taking all the water out and draining all the water. Make sure you get all the water out, squeeze all the water out. You have to eat it in about just small sizes so it's good to good size to eat and put in your mouth.
we're going to put some green onions. I'm going to make it. So one green onion she's putting in there. I'm just cutting it into tiny round pieces. Now you want to put in some chamgirim. Aromakum, one spoon. About about one spoon of chamgirim. And chamgirim is sesame oil, and you can find these at Korean marts and whatnot. And we just have this kind. And then you're going to put a good amount of salt. It really depends how much salt you want in there. Just how much salty you want it to be. Which are roasted sesame seeds. And then you're just going to mix it all together. and taste it and see if you like the flavor, if you want more salt or you know add the things that's gonna give it the flavor that you want. Now that we're done we're just going to put it in a container and you can store it in the fridge and eat it as a side dish.